what is the Affordable Care Act? And just going back to the basics, what happened that day when they signed it? Well, I, when the Affordable Care Act is a, is a huge um, play, government play in the midst of all of the health care industry. But sort of headline on it is, is how do you control costs and expand access to people that can't afford health care today. What we're about to see happen tomorrow is the exchange is going to go up and people have the opportunity to find out how much they can go on and save on their health care that don't right. either have it by their own policies or don't have a policy today. The Tea Party will say this is going to cost us more because we're bailing out the uninsured lazy bumps. I don't actually... That's, you, that's, the, that's the stereotype. That's, that's part of what they say, but ultimately what they really say is is it's basically socialism. The government shouldn't be involved in a, a, a part of the economy that should be left up to completely up to private yeah. practice. And so that's why they don't really want to change parts of it. They're completely philosophically opposed to the entire thing, which is why they are so you stuck and intransigent on this. And so tomorrow, if the government does shut down, the health exchanges will be open for business. Do Republicans have a point here that they have not been able to negotiate with the White House and with the Democratic Senate over the Affordable Care Act, and therefore they have no choice but to put this government shutdown and potentially a debt ceiling at risk. Well, the Republicans have a point. The Democrats are, are, are sort of are sort of spinning a little bit, like, oh, we're open to negotiation, open to negotiation. But they're not. Harry Reid said, Harry Reid no will kill any changes in the House, kill any changes in the Senate. The president would veto it. I don't think, though, the bill is law. The bill's a law. The Supreme Court basically put a check mark out by it and says it's the law of the land. The president had a, an election in 2012 and he ran on it. You know, he won an election. And it's time for actually the Republicans to say, well, you may not like it, we may not like it, but it is the law of the land and we'll have to let it go to implementation. But, if there's problems in implementation, we can go back and try to fix it. Right, but, but it's the law. But the bottom line is, as you correctly state, is this is philosophical oh, huge. and it's simply about socialism. They think it's socialism. Yeah, I, if I it's think not it's about health care, though, it would be over something else because they're opposed to the president and his agenda no matter what it I is. actually, that's part of it, but this is fun, and a fundamental thing. They do not think the government should be involved in this part of the private sector. Matt, you're from Texas, and there's a lot of the names. We mentioned Barry Goldwater earlier, and we made jokes about John Calhoun pre-Civil War. Forget about that. Is there a moderate Republican Party this morning? No. There, I mean, it's just the least, least conservative part of the Republican Party. And that's what I think, Tom, that, we've, that we really, why we're in this situation in Washington, is Democrats over time have moved more, way more left of center. Republicans have, more, have moved way more right of center. And each party is beholden to elements that are not represented by the majority of the country. And that's what the fundamental problem we have today is.